Masters, uh, Hulk, Iron Man, Wanted. Uh, you know, these are, are not only just films that, you know, just comic book fans and, and general genre fans are watching. This is crossed over into, you know, every single person on this planet wants to see this stuff. And some of it, I think, has to do with the idea that, you know, these are pretty tough times for some people. There's still a war going on. The economy is what it is. You know, when you're getting around to five dollars gas, you know, you really want a chance to be able to believe in somebody. And so, whether it's a group of people that are on a lost island, or whether it is a bunch of, of extraordinary powers that are put upon, uh, you know, ordinary people on heroes, you know, that kind of thing comes from a very, very simple place, and that is, you want to feel like those people could be you. And so, if the emotions are real and the situations are real, that stuff is going to play. And you know, that's what I always try to find, whether it's in comics or film or television. You've gotten to do probably a lot of what you want to do. Um, what would you consider that you haven't done as your dream project? Uh, you know, I drive my agents crazy. I, you know, I, I still would like to have, you know, a big comic book movie. I would love to write another Batman, uh, Superman. A, a James Bond film is something that, you know, would just tickle my fancy. And, you know, I think having been on Smallville, having been on Lost, having been on Heroes, and really seeing how creatively those shows can come together, you know, I think it's, you know, maybe time for me to have my own one to run around, and I think that would be great. Um, in terms of comics, um, what it, first talk about a few of the projects that you're on right now. I mean, you don't have to go into detail, but then talk about the direction that you're helping shape in terms of uh, Marvel and Secret Invasion and things of that nature. Uh, well, just starting with uh, things over at Marvel, you know, um, for reasons that I'm not entirely clear, uh, we introduced at the beginning of the year, I mean, I know why we did it, uh, we introduced the Red Hulk, uh, and it's just taken off. I mean, I, you know, I'm very, very proud of the character and the work that I'm doing on that book. Uh, you know, people started, started talking about the Red Hulk as, as the next Wolverine. I should be so lucky that that's going to happen. Uh, but, uh, you know, all the other books have asked whether or not he can cross over, and right now I just sort of want to keep him and let him grow so that everybody knows who he is and all that stuff. Uh, on the other side of it, I'm having an enormous amount of fun in the Ultimate Universe, which if you don't know Marvel Comics, there's a, another separate group of books that aren't quite as continuity mired, and so you're able to sort of start things back uh, about five years ago. And so the, our version of the Avengers is called the Ultimate. Uh, you know, we have the Ultimate X-Men and Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, and then this fall, uh, we'll be starting something called Ultimatum. Uh, which we're referring to as the end of the beginning of the Ultimate Universe, so that myself and one of the other architects that's over at Marvel, Brian Michael Bendis, uh, and I are just really having a lot of time and fun uh, at these retreats, you know, not just reshaping what goes on there, but working with editorial and Joe Quesada, you know, making sure that those comics are still the things that, that are really unexpected. I think that's one of the great things about Marvel Comics is that you're able to at any time tell a story that just blows people's minds. I'm like, I can't believe they're doing that. Uh, and that's the thing that we try to do. And right now with Secret Invasion, you know, introducing the idea that there's scrolls among us and that there, anybody could have been somebody else and that there are people that are dead that are coming back and people that should be dead that are actually going to be dead. It's just a great concept. And so things like that, we've got a lot of fun with Civil War and the death of Captain America, and I had an opportunity to write Fallen Sun, which was the sort of the aftermath of that, being able to talk about what it was like to be such a great hero. So it's just things like that, that that Marvel really, really looks for in terms of a story. They want to be able to tell something that's going to get people talking about Marvel Comics. And then in turn, the movies that they make, a movie like Iron Man, a movie like Incredible Hulk, are movies that people want to talk about. So it's incredibly exciting. Thank you.